Hello, it's Pierre from Digital Designs and in this video we're going to explore an amazing plugin which I use on a weekly basis which is called Content Reel and this plugin is going to enable you to add uh, either lorem ipsum style of text but with real data as well as uh, images such as avatars and this is going to save you a ton of time as you're working on web apps, uh, websites uh, and any design project really. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go under plugins uh, and uh, if you haven't installed it yet, uh, simply go under manage plugins uh, and search for content reel. Now at this point you're going to find uh, this uh, icon right here and that this is the right plugin uh, to use. So the very first time you access uh, content reel, you're going to be here in the home, but I want you to focus on the text for this part of the tutorial, since uh, this is uh, where you're going to leverage all of the functionalities around text. So one thing that uh, I could do is uh, say that in this column, I only want uh, numbers and uh, I'm going to select uh, all of these uh, text elements and then I'm going to select uh, one of uh, these elements, such as number. As you can see, the numbers have been changed in uh, just a matter of seconds, really. You can also search for uh, numbers. So you're going to find all sorts of different queries. You can find the uh, US phone numbers. Uh, there's also, these are really useful. Uh, you can sort by thousands or even uh, just specific numbers between 0 to 99. Uh, so these type of things are, are really useful. Um, a lot of the times you're going to find that members uh, or even Microsoft them, themselves uh, added uh, uh, all sorts of different filtering uh, which is going to make your life uh, uh, easier when it comes to the text insertion. So another example is I could add emails. So this randomly generates a uh, different type of emails, uh, uh, even full addresses. You kind of get the gist by now. So Content Trail is going to enable you to add content uh, and uh, really make your websites and apps uh, look uh, more like uh, the real thing. Now, another way that uh, you can use Content Trail is uh, by using uh, this uh, feature image. So for the very most part, uh, I use it uh, for avatars. So as you can see over here, I can simply click on avatars and uh, this is going to fill up uh, all of the shapes uh, in uh, just uh, a few seconds. Another really useful uh, use of content reel is the logos. And uh, as you can see right here, have uh, all sorts of different logos. Now, <clears throat> this hasn't, this doesn't necessarily need to be random. So you can actually see which type of logos uh, they're adding. And you can uh, even be quite uh, uh, precise with the selection simply because you can uh, select uh, an element one by one and just add uh, the specific logo that you prefer. And you can even select multiple elements and add the same logo. And this applies also for the text. So it's not uh, a, a randomized action. You can literally go over here and uh, see, for example, what type of emails they're using. And maybe I want a shorter one compared to a longer one. So you can simply select this uh, and I'm good to go. So my best recommendation is to just explore this uh, plugin because uh, it can really be a, a huge time saver. I know it has been for me. And uh, you can also add the uh, custom uh, uh, text. Uh, and uh, there's also the icons, but honestly, I don't really use them um, at all. <laughs> Usually when it comes to to the icons, uh, I go with uh, either uh, Nucleo icons uh, or Noun project. Uh, the good thing about Nucleo icon is that there is an app uh, where you can add uh, any sort of library that you want. Uh, but for the very most part, uh, I find myself using content reel for the text of the images, and then you can create your own uh, text. So you can select over here text, which uh, might be, for example, my countries. And uh, I'm going to add here 
Portugal, and then uh, United States, uh, then Italy, and I can simply add them uh, right here. You can choose if, if it's public or private, and then click on create. I'll just make it public because it's, uh, it's fine for this example. And then uh, I can go over here under text, click on my countries. And as you can see, it randomly sampled from that list uh, which uh, I created myself. And again, you can even go into the these countries. You can edit the content. I'm probably going to delete it after this video. I just wanted to show you uh, what uh, a uh, what you can really do and the limits that you can uh, push this uh, amazing plugin. So I hope this video was helpful. If you want to learn more about uh, Figma, feel free to check out the other videos on my channel or click in the link in the description to see the free articles and resources uh, on our website. And I'll see you in the very next video.